Many cities in sub-Saharan Africa are vulnerable to climate change, progressive decline of biodiversity and ecosystem services, disappearing open and green space. During pre-colonial and colonial times, Kano City in northern Nigeria has featured in the old maps of Africa. European explorers were fascinated by the existing high-level resilience that this Greyland city exhibited through its unique garden city features and landscape covered by local trees, open and green spaces, wetlands, agricultural lands and solid architecture. However, this situation only changed around the early 80s when the city's resilience features were halted as a result of changes in urban land use and governance, unguided urbanization and rapid population expansion. We believe that the key to climate change mitigation and restoring urban resilience lies in planting local tree species that are indigenous to Kano. Over 20 neighborhoods in urban Kano bear names of trees that have since gone into extinction. These trees are known to absorb CO2, improve urban microclimate, and restore ecosystem services. They also serve as source of exotic fruits, food, and vegetables whose medicinal benefits are manifold. The beauty of our project is that it consists mainly of youths, men and women, that will become change agents of transformation to sustainability. This body of active young persons includes students of various academic disciplines, millennials who work as landscapers and gardeners, unemployed and even out of school youths. For two consecutive days, our team went round the city of Kano, which is the largest in northern Nigeria planting trees of different species at strategically located institutions such as schools, hospitals and public offices. A GPS device was used to capture coordinates of the positions of planted trees which will help in keeping track of condition and growth. Our aim is to make Kano a safer, healthier and more resilient city in line with targets and indicators of the SDG 11. The city's biodiversity will increase and as lost tree species are gradually reintroduced to the ecosystem, some birds and insects may make a comeback to trees which they originally inhabit. Urban food security can be improved through introduction of edible plants and the city's economic prospects will improve as well. The central premise is that this project can be a seed that influences massive regreening of Kano City, a feature that the city exhibited almost three centuries ago.